Hi, uh, in this video, we will cover all about uh, contacts. So, uh, what is contacts, uh, what type of contacts you can create in the system, uh, and then uh, how the contacts behave throughout the system, uh, uh, what extra we can do uh, with the contacts, how contacts are linked with the di different apps uh, in, in Odoo. So, contacts, uh, what is contacts basically? So, basically, contacts uh, is nothing but uh, uh all the companies all the all the people whom you interact uh, uh, maybe uh, they may be your vendor they may be your customers they may, may be your you know prospects uh, they may be your employees uh, so uh, it's it's like a, a phone 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 address book uh, so uh, contact is a erp address book so your address book uh, of the entire company in the erp uh, and uh, it's a, uh, you can simply say contact management system you you have in in, in, in your erp uh, we have given a contact management system and uh, just go, uh, let me show you. So I just logged in with the Kunal, Kunal email ID uh, and uh, you can see uh, I'm saying it's a contact management system. That is why we have given a different app. Uh, the contact app, uh, instead of just giving this uh, in any different app. So just go uh, logged in, click on the contacts. The moment you click on the contacts, uh, you can see whatever the contacts you have created in the Kanban view. So uh, uh, there are there are more than three thousand contacts. You can see there is a three one six seven contacts, right? And uh, the, uh, you can only see the name of the contact. Even you can add the picture of the contact. Uh, <clears throat> you can see more information over here because uh, most of the contacts uh, we have not filled the information. So you can see in this contact two x ist, you can see the email ID, uh, right? Even you can see how many leads this particular contacts have, uh, how many uh, invoices or sales you have done for the customer. Even you can see that all the all the activities if you have created. So it is not a stand a stand alone contact. Uh, basically, it is linked with all your different modules in ERP. So let me show you some uh, contact. Like let I just search with the name of Saurav. So you can see. Uh, GeotechnoSoft is a company. You can see the logo also over here. You can see the complete complete name. You can see the address, email ID. You can see uh, there is a count of three, uh, two two thirty nine, uh, which is your uh, basically uh, opportunities uh, for this. So, uh, and uh, you can also see uh, one one uh, uh, sales order. Same way you can see there is another another contact with with more information. So. It is not like uh, it will come blank. If you fill it nicely, you, you can see the nice uh, Kanban view. We call this this view as a Kanban view. And uh, uh, let me click over over here. This this is called list view basically. So so you have more information. So it, it will become like a tablet format. You have the name of the customer. You will see the phone number, email ID, salesperson. So salesperson is nothing but who from your company who 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 is looking for for this contact basically. Uh, uh, account manager, CT country, even you can add more uh, options like the state if you want to see over here or uh, tax ID or any tag you have used, even you can add uh, custom fields. So fine, uh, this is list view. You, we have, you know, map view also, just click on this. You can see all your customer on, on Google, uh, on, the, on the map uh, based on the, the address which you have saved, which you saved in the, in the, in the system, okay? Even you can switch to the Google Maps. So it will. <coughs> Sorry. Okay. So let me again come in the Canvan view. Uh, so there is three thousand one hundred sixty-seven contacts. I can only see eighty contacts in one list. If 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 I want to see more, I just click over here. I just loaded one thousand contacts. Okay, so it's loaded 1000 contact. Uh, uh, again, it is hard for me to scroll and find out find out some contacts. So better, what is the best way? So there's a, there's a search bar, bar and uh, just to start typing name, so S-A-U-R-A-V. And system is asking you, is it, is it a contact name? It is a related company, means sort of belongs to, uh, this, this, is a, this, is a, this is a parent company. This is the email ID, this is the phone number or mobile number, this is tag or this is a salesperson. 
And if you click over here, you can see more information. Like you can see related company. The system is suggesting you saw up. There is there is a there is a sort of in big bazaar also there is a sort of in in geotechnics of stuff also, and I just click on search by name, so this is this is there there is three contacts in which system has found found sort of as a keyword right uh, in the name. Uh, you can search by email ID. Because I loaded thousand contacts, so system is that is why. Uh, uh, we default load eighty contacts, so system should be fast. So, so I just search with the sorry. I just again I, I use the use the use the name. So let me first fix this otherwise otherwise and uh, I'm working from home today so internet is, net is really not good at home uh, compared to office so sort of at geotechnosoft.com so I am searching this as a you know email id of the of the contact so I just so there's two contact having sort of at geotechnosoft as an email id so this is all about search uh, uh, there is a there is a two more uh, options over here filter and group by so if I click on filter so you have you know various filters uh, so let's say who is your customer who is your vendor so contacts may be, as I told you contacts may be your customer contacts may be your vendor so how how system you know identify a difference between customer and vendor so any contacts who bought you who bought any any subscription or any any product from you uh, so, so what, what system will do system will check for any contacts if the, if there is an invoice he will be your customer if any if any contact for for that you have a bill vendor bill so it will be your vendor so let let me click on customer invoices when i click over here i can see these are these are the contacts in my system whom I already raised the invoice. You can see uh, this dollar sign. Basically, you have done some business with them. It is, uh, and if I if I just want to see the vendors, so vendor means they have submitted bills to you, right? So I, once I click on vendor, so there is no any vendor in the system. Uh, okay, same way, uh, uh, same way companies. So who are the companies in your in your system? Same way individuals. So. This, this, this is how you can apply filter so individual so in, you can see uh, rahul kumar is an individual who works for this company bibhu kumar is an individual who works for this company okay uh, john john is an individual uh, where parent company is not uh, uh, not there so I'll, I'll i'll explain more about what is individual and what is company same way uh, so filter is if you want to find a specific record you can simply go in the filter if you want to group then simply go in the Group by. So let me tell you a group by salesperson. Okay. So there are these are the contacts where salesperson is not mapped. Uh, these are the contacts uh, where salesperson is Kunal. These are the contact where salesperson is Sanjay. Okay. So uh, basically, salesperson and account manager. Okay. So you can group by. Uh, it is it, it, and you can also add your custom group. Let's say, for example, city. So. I just click on city. So there is a there is a contact in this particular Kanban view uh, where city is false. City is not defined. There is a contact uh, this much of contact which belongs to Noida, uh, North, Virgin, and Patna. Okay. Uh, if if I just change the Kanban view to list view, see how this will look. So there is a there is a there is a six contact which belongs to Noida. There is a six, uh, one contact belongs to North Virgin, two contacts, and 3,158 contacts where city is not defined. So uh, you can use uh, filters and group by like like that. Uh, I again want to show you like city. So city was not the default filter. So I I added the city from the add custom group and uh, I'm, I frequently uh, you know find the contacts with the uh, with the city 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 name and all. 
so you can add uh, if you made some filters and groups and you frequently use that filters and group to uh, you know categorize your uh, database so you can simply go in favorites and add your favorites as a you know a search so in future you don't require uh, to apply the, those filters and groups okay so contact I just I'm just giving you example because uh, this is applying city group is not a big big deal but sometimes you apply with uh, many combinations if else and and then and, and or uh, you know functions so you can do that as well so I just save this filter so in future if I just come in the contact and, and I wish to see the city wise uh, contact so I don't need to go in group by and all I, I'll simply go and click up on contact city wise and here I have okay so I explained to you how to uh, use these uh, this magical search boxes group by and, and filter right let's open uh, uh, to create a new contact simply hit on contacts as simple as it is let me create a contact for you create so company or individual very simple to understand uh, so I'm going to create a create a company company means maybe a, a brand lock is a company right so maybe Google is a company Google LLC for example right put put uh, put the information as much as, as you can uh, then you can see all those information in the front view otherwise no okay you can add a logo for for the for the company or for example this one okay and sorry let me add another one maybe something okay and addresses so put the nice addresses up let me just select the country United States, uh, California, Silicon Valley, whatever. So you put it in the nice big email address. Okay, and you are done. Click on save. Your contact is there. Uh, if if I want to add some some you know contact person uh, in this this company, so I uh, you can see there are four type of tabs in the bottom. So when I, when I click on add, uh, you can create a contact inside the company or a contact inside the contact. So let's say there is a contact. Uh, uh, contact name is Sundar Pichai. Email ID, uh, title. Mr. Top position. Anything? Any any comment you want to write for this customer? Like contact this customer for for, for payment follow up. Contact this customer. Uh, con contact this contact for, uh, you know, uh, uh, confirm the confirm send the invoice uh, in the Google LLC. Uh, contact this customer for. Uh, contact this contact for uh, uh, you know get some approval you can add some internal notes over here so just click on save and close or if you want to add more contact click on save and new I'm just going to click on save it and new so you can see this contact is already added inside the Google uh, and uh, so there might be a, be a case like you are dealing with a, with a company where multiple invoices uh, invoice address has to be saved so there's a company who, who, their head office is in uh, USA and they have different different offices in China, India, UAE, uh, some other other uh, even even in, in different location of for the USA. So uh, for you, you just the client is you just need to send invoices on different address uh, uh, every, for, for different product. Uh, for different services so simply go invoice address uh, this is a mumbai invoice address of google i'm just adding and by default a uh, parent address will come from the the address will come from the parent contact so india state maharashtra okay and 
that's it I'll click on save and so you can see there's an invoice address so in invoice address you can see this type of symbol will come same way uh, delivery address you can add for the contact so maybe uh, so the delivery address uh, you have a other address option also over here so other address uh, is is uh, uh, give a name for the other addresses it it it, it does it might be it doesn't belongs to delivery and you know uh, invoices but uh, it's a address of a of a warehouse so you can put like that and private address so private address is basically uh, the person who is creating the address they can see the this address basically so it is not shared with anybody else okay so so now we know uh, how to create a create a company and how to create contact inside the company okay let me click on save let me see this uh, this on the search 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 bar okay so let me search google when i search google i can see one two three four contacts so this is a google as a as a, as a company over here it was created before i just created this one google llc you can see there's a mumbai invoice address which belongs to google llc as a parent company there is sundar p uh, which belongs to google llc in the so google llc is the parent company when i open this sundar p you can see uh, it is an individual remember uh, and it belongs to the company called google llc so if, if i click i can simply go from google I can simply click and go inside the Google LLC from here also. So I click on Google LLC and uh, I can see there's two contacts. Fine. Uh, in future, if you want to add more information, I can simply click on edit. I can add all those information over here. Okay. If anything, any, any uh, you know, company related document like uh, you, you have asked the MOA, MOA of a uh, company memorandum or any, any document which before signing the contract, you ask some documents like cancel check and all, uh, whatever you, you want from this company, you can simply attach those documents, click over here, add an attachment, and uh, simply attach the document here. So it's as simple as it is. Keeping keeping document belongs to that company is not hard. Simply go on, attach. You can see a uh, two more tab over here, sales and accounting. So, so sales and purchase accounting and internal notes. So, Based how many modules we have installed, how many departments are active, so based on that, you, uh, multiple tabs will keep appearing. Okay, so uh, for this customer, whatever sales, if it is a contact, he is you are doing uh, sales uh, with this contact, uh, uh, you are buying anything from this contact. So you in go in the sales and tap purchase, uh, sales and purchase tab, and select the salesperson who who is a salesperson from your company who looks for this account. Uh, even you can create multiple sales team. I will explain in different ways video. Payment term. So what is the payment term for this customer? So if you send an invoice, they have a 30 days payment term. Price list. Price list nothing, is, is nothing but a default currency uh, which you want to use for this, this particular customer. Or maybe you can uh, create a price list with a specific discount. So anytime this customer buy any product from you, you, will, you have uh, a contract with the customer that you will give a 10% extra discount compared to other or maybe with the standard price of the product so you can create those price list as well and, and you can map for now i'm just saying i have three types of currency so for this customer i will use gbp so i just click over here uh say this is this side you have all the sales related information this side you have all purchase related if it, he's a vendor so then in that case what is the payment term right so let's say i pay 45 days payment term and this this particular contact come from which uh, uh, reference just tip, give the name someone came from the reference called sort of uh, this customer belongs to which industry so uh, computer it and communication okay. and simple click on save over here if 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 anything uh, any information which you want to save related to accounting and finance for this contact click over over accounting and finance add their bank account details uh, and uh, whenever you receive any money from this contact this account will get hitted uh, if you pay anything to this contact this account will get hitted internal notes write anything about this customer this is only for you <coughs> these now let's go to the next uh, uh, next 
level of understanding the contact so just open any contact you can see many uh, many buttons over on the on the top this is this is called smart button in in our system so uh, how what uh, how many meetings you have done so far with this this particular company you can see the count over here so this is this is zero uh, you can see one two three four five even uh, if you just click over here here you can see the calendar view and you can schedule a meeting it will uh, it will you know same like how you use your outlook calendar so give a meeting subject over here proper sub subject whom you want to invite uh, start at and uh, reminders you want uh, reminders every 15 minutes 20 minutes so meeting url uh, description you can add attendees over here and it works same how Outlook or Google Calendar works. So your user will get an invitation. They will accept. You will get a notification also. Uh, in Odoo, you will keep getting uh, reminders to start the meeting and all. So uh, same way. Options, OK. Uh, it is a public, private. Uh, uh, even you can schedule a reoccurring meeting. Invitations, so <clears throat> all whom you invited, these, these come over here. So very simple and my advice is uh, whenever you uh, schedule a meeting with the cu customer use this uh, this meeting meeting tab from from here opportunities so how many leads you have for this particular customer you can see the count over here just click on that and you will see all the opportunities uh, so these these smart buttons is again based on the access right so if a person doesn't have uh, access of sales and crm uh, module they cannot see the sales subscription and invoice smart button if a person doesn't have accounting uh, uh, and finance uh, apps access they cannot see the partner laser so it this is smart button will only appear based on your access right so i i believe i have covered most of the part how to create contacts and how to use these smart buttons if you want to send any email to the customer click send message and their email id come by default okay type and attach send if you want to see uh, the detail and you want to design the entire thing or so hi sir okay attachment hi sir kindly find the um, profile okay then use a backslash you have all the html tags like bullets and all you simple as simple as it is okay as simple as it is sometimes use a backslash headline heading one okay attach multiple file even if you have a standard template like for, for to sending the proposal every time you use a standard content even you can create your your own email template so simply save this particular email as a save as email template and next time when you are sending email just select the template from here and you don't need to write the entire content okay send it simple okay best part is uh, you have a log over here when you send the email to this customer you will see the log and uh, this email uh, if if somehow this email got failed uh, it is not sent out you can see this as a red red uh, mailbox so you can simply un understand this is this, this is not uh, sent okay and uh, you can also see uh, i just added this attachment so you can see your attachment databases keep growing so this is this is a nice part and the moment customer reply on this email if you have configured uh, in this database we have configured the catch all account and uh, system will simply uh, add uh, that reply in this particular chatter itself okay so hope i covered most of the part uh, related to contacts i will not make this video very long uh, if for, for additional feature i will make another video thank you thanks a lot